If you want to grab some of the uh, ornaments, feel free to put them in there too. I'll put the zoom zoom in there. I got that zoom 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 something in my heart. Yeah, this thing does not want to open. It's all taped down. I yeah. need it. You don't. Yeah, you get them wrapped up, but you don't care about the people that have to have to open it. Uh, it's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. Again, this one is actually, this one is uh, Avatar Press, and it fell out of its thing. Oh, well. Yeah, there we go. This one is from Sui Generis. Oh, dear. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh dear. I know what that is. It's... How appropriate is the backside? <laughs> Actually, the backside's not that bad. Still wouldn't show it, but... Well, show the front off of the people. They need to see what this is, because I know what this is. Do, 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 do. Are they sure that this one's supposed to be meant for Sage? <laughs> I think... Didn't Sage do Sage it? did the original Bible Black in an episode of uh, uh, Anime Abandon. I don't know anything about Bible Black origins, but... Porn. It's porn, yeah. It's definitely porn. Straight up porn. No, no dividing it. It's just definitely porn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just what I always wanted. <laughs> Should that be someone's stocking stuffer? <laughs> eh, I see what you did there. Anyway, oh, I we... didn't even... Oh. <laughs> First off, I'm the one who's supposed to make the naughty jokes in this P.O. unboxing thing. Well, you should probably get this one. It's just a letter. Okay. But there's uh, some art in there, too. Okay, let's see. This is getting full. I'm going to close this up. All right, looks like we got some art. It's a picture of you, honey. Oh, cute. But what's on the other side? It's a picture of Twilight Sparkle. Yeah. Thank you so much. And there's this letter. Dear Louis Lovehog and Vega. Hello, I'm a guy who's a fan of your show. I can't remember if I first found it in 2015 or 16, but I'm pretty sure it was summer 16. So yeah, I've been a fan for that long, but I already binged all your storyline episodes because I have way too much time to kill. Don't we all? Anywho, the first videos of yours I saw was the Marvel reviews. Ah. I so much at them. I, are, I had already recognized you from Nostalgia Critic reviews, but I haven't watched any of your stuff. Now that's long since changed. Eventually, I decided to become a reviewer myself. It took quite a few pages from you. Oh. I chose to, re to review fan works of any kind. These can range from fan fiction to fan animation, fan comics, and fan games. If it's fan made, I'll review it. Review cream cheese and vowel. Yeah, do do that. Hint. <laughs> Crap! I lost my place. Uh, as sure. I ran this, I already got two reviews out. Uh, he already two reviews out. Reviews out. The first one is the two, first two chapters of MLP fan fiction that seem to be kicking your sister at your wedding because they were being an asshole at was the same time as disowning them. The second one is a solid series of Undertale animations that are ongoing and I follow. In that review, I gave W.D. Basser a Batman voice, uh, Flo Flowey a Mickey voice, and Azriel a Gollum voice. I don't know anything about Undertale, so. Yep, I'm gonna no zip idea. through the, I'm gonna zip through some of these because some of these letters are long, but I figure this one doesn't have a letter. It's just uh, Transformers Volume Four: Heart of Darkness. So oh. keep going. I'll open up the next one. Hmm, so I'm gonna skim through. Uh, when I saw you PO unboxing videos, I wanted to send you something just because. But I had nothing physical to send you, so I decided to tell you about a bunch of about a web series I also like, Death Battle. Yes. I am I am aware of Death Battle. Yes, I've seen Death Battle before. It's a show of a bunch of people who do a bunch of soul crushing research to determine which two fictional characters would win in a fight. Some episodes I thought you might be interested in: it's Iron Man versus Lex Luthor, Batman versus Spider Man, Batman versus Captain America, Tiger Zord versus Gundam Epion, Hulk versus Doomsday, Pokemon versus Digimon, and so on. And for Vega, Star Scream versus Rainbow Dash, and by the time this reaches reaches you, Deadpool versus Pinkie Pie should be up. <laughs> I'm aware of it. People have been tweeting me Deadpool versus Pinkie Pie. As, I just as, haven't had time to watch it As yet. me too. Guys, I, I think that's great, and, and you know, Death Battle is awesome, but I'm not an active viewer, so you don't need to tell <laughs> me a thousand times when a comic character shows up in it, or a Power Rangers character, because yes, I know, I know Tommy's in it, I know they got Jason David Frank for it, I know, I know, I know, I know. And he also wanted to show you this image made by a guy called Battle Rider that pit up Linkara against Ebony Darkness, the main character of what is considered to be the worst fan fiction of all, My, My Immortal. Immortal. 
Ewok versus Ebony Darkness Dementia Way? I don't know. You're not gothy enough. I just, I don't have the power to defeat someone like that. Yeah, you know, I got to start off small on, on on that scale. You know, put me up against, hmm. put me up against, you know, the original Mary Sue from that one Star Trek fan fiction. I think maybe a little black eyeliner and uh, some uh, lipstick from Moarte. Dark Linkara? Yes. Dark Linkara! <laughs> Also, an image uh, he made of DBX, a spinoff series that where the characters fight without the research. Then Kara face, uh, facing Rorschach. Ha. And finally, another image I made of a one-minute melee, the original series that did this concept, but left Screw Attack. It's you versus Twilight Sparkle. Now, in the case of that one, I might I might know that one, too, because uh, once upon a time, I know someone from Screw Attack. I can't remember the name of it. It might have been an early version of Death Battle. It might have been... Uh, that thing contacted me and asked me to voice uh, uh, Superman in a Superman versus Goku fight. Why didn't you do it? Because I was really busy at the time, but in retrospect, I really should have. Because I recall that video got like a billion views. Yeah, you should have done it. Huh? Yeah, well, okay, more like a million views, but still, I should have done it. I was just so swamped at the time, but I could have made time. Yeah, I could have, damn it. And so I, I try to be very careful about these kind of things in the future for researching this sort of thing. Uh, before I agree to do anything, just, you know, to make time in my schedule. Anyway. Otherwise, we got uh, Prez right here. here Don't know who from. You read the last page. And the last page I will read. So, yeah, I just thought I'd send you this. I didn't put my real name or anything like that anywhere because I really don't want to put any personal information out there whatsoever. Did we say their name out loud? Um, I don't remember. Uh, this does end up on your PO Unboxing and, give us your th uh, and you give us your thoughts on these matchups and any matchups you would like to see. That would make my day. I honestly have no thoughts about these matchups, sorry. Other than Rorschach would probably kill me. Yeah, he would. Because he's kind of a mean Twilight guy. Twilight Sparkle would also kill you. Yeah. Uh, she got the see. power of friendship. I even thought of USS Enterprise versus Battlestar Galactica, Han Solo versus Captain Kirk, and a lot of matchups involving comic book heroes. It's not the sort of... Th I'm sorry, it's just not the sort of thing I really think about. Uh, I'm not really interested in seeing a lot of versus battles between heroes and whatnot. Yeah, but imagine if you were, like, back when you were 12 in middle school, making no, those uh, arguments with friends. Yeah, the problem is, I didn't make them back then either. I thought it was just kind of silly. Really? <laughs> yeah. Never did, like, a, a Thunderdome? Not really, no. I was I moved beyond Thunderdome. <laughs> uh, I even thought of something for a battle royale between Green Arrow, Hawkeye, and Shaft. Yeah, Shaft was, is really the guy we want to see in these kind of things. John uh, Shaft. Can you dig it? See, now that shaft I can get behind. I thought the green arrow could pull out a balloon deflation arrow and fire it to sh at shaft to humor him. <laughs> That's beautiful. But the arrow actually caused a bunch of air to leak out of shaft, and now he's not so muscle-bound. His young blood's disease is gone, and he's much nicer. He then thanks green arrow and explains that, uh, that when he and his, his friends were going to start their team, some random guy, Rob Liefeld, stuck an air pump in all of them and inflated them to ludicrous levels. They're, they were always so grumpy because no one would let all the air out of them. He then politely says goodbye to Green Arrow and Hawkeye and goes to help the rest of his friends. I'm completely lost right now. This is this is his death battle between the three of them. Okay. Anyway, just to skip to the end here. Uh, anyway, I'll let you go. Best of wishes to you two, and I can't wait to see the epic conclusion of The Sleepwalker. There's people who would pay for that type of inflation. Sincerely, a guy <laughs> on the internet whom you just call Chaos Servant 12345 P.S. I also decided to send you a drawing I made of the Linkara vs. Twilight fight. I did it as practice for when I get to my own stories, and Photoshop won't be able to pull off what I want to see. I would love to see some constructive criticism. I don't... See, the thing is, the difference between us is I don't do constructive criticism of, uh, of, art? uh, of artwork, uh, of, like, fan-made artwork. You know, I just do professional stuff. And, um, well, I'm used to doing crits in school and stuff, but, yeah, it's like, it's kind of hard to do it for fan art, because it's like, uh, well... Be encouraging. Offer offer useful things. All right. Work on your anatomy, definitely. One like def and uh, work on clothing, uh, definitely, because it's like you have this sleeve looks way and arm looks way skinnier than that one. Uh, definitely work on like, oh, man, I can't even, I can't even word right now. Ponies, you just have to really work on line work, and when you color things, try and keep it in like one consistent pretty much one consistent direction. Uh, that's all I could think of right now. This is a gift from Jeffrey Piet. Mm -hmm. Sailor Moon calendar. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. uh, and a uh, mini calendar. Oh, yay. Mine. 
where we're gonna put this this one. So thank you. Thank you so much. I love Sailor Moon. Yeah. I don't think I'll ever stop loving Sailor Moon because it was one of the first anime I ever watched, and that's true for a lot of people. There's a whole generation of people who just found DBZ and Sailor Moon, and then it just hooked them. I like Sailor Moon. Hey, well, what's in my hand right now? It's from the Pokemon Company. The Pokemon Company? The Pokemon Company. What are they sending to us? Pokemon! 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 Ooh, Ooh Pokemon! Oh my god, it's so adorable! Yeah, it's been a while since you got any plushies. It's like a little snowman Pikachu! It is a snowman Pikachu! This is adorable. It's from Jeffrey Pieta, isn't it? It doesn't say. It probably is. It doesn't say. And this is uh, from the Pokemon Center. Grand opening note cube. So post-it notes. Ah, oh, neat. So oh, whoever did send these, thank you. Oh my god, so so fun, Pikachu! Oh my god, so adorable! Yeah, put it up. Yeah, put it next to Poyo. There you go. Snowman Pikachu! It's Pikachu! <laughs> oh, Pokemon! Pokemon! Why don't you uh, pull out this uh, thing while I take care of this garbage? Yep, take care of this box too. Yep. So what do we got here? This is from Cyberspace Comics. So it's another uh, eBay purchase. Probably more Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, Texas, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Texas Chainsaw Massacre cut. For the record, I don't give a crap about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I remember watching it long ago with some friends at someone's house. Yeah, I'm not really into horror at all. I'm into horror, but I just don't care about Texas Chainsaw Massacre because I'm not as into real life kind of things. I think I talked about this last time. I prefer supernatural horror. Ex with the exception of the Saw movies, because I really like, uh, 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 well, for one thing, Tobin Bell has an incredible voice. Mm. Uh, secondly, yeah, well, she sold them on me, and frankly, a lot of the situations are so ridiculous that they might as well be supernatural for her. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we got a weirdly shaped box right there. Yeah, this is like a wedge. It's from Far Fan Entertainment. Hmm. I wonder what this wedge could be. Like, why even be in a wedge shape unless the thing is a wedge? If it's not wedge-shaped inside of it, why is it in a wedge shape? Maybe it's cheese. I like cheese. Yeah, cheese that's been sent through the mail. Cheese in the month. There's probably a whole box that's kind of like loot crate, but for cheese. I'm sure. I don't doubt that there is. Cheese in the month club. Oh. Ooh. It's the, it's, it's, uh. Hot uh, Wheels Star Trek. Yeah, it's movie Enterprise, but still, it's the Enterprise. Thank you. Thank you whoever sent that. We have so much Star Trek stuff. We, we have a Star Trek shelf in the library. Yes, and we need... I think we just need to have another shelf for just Star Trek. Yeah, if we, ha if we had room for it. Yeah. All right, this one, it just says Amazon Fulfillment Services. Oh, all right. Ah, more Sailor Moon manga. Yes. Show these, are the the, these are the short stories. One and two. I do not have the short story, so yay. That one looks like it has a, uh, a Santa hat on the back. Oh, yes. So you got some Christmas Usagi. Or Serena, if you remember the, uh, you know, old like old school dub names. Also some uh, post-sexy times right here. <laughs> this is uh, Friday the 13th, a trade paperback. Uh, this is good for me, considering uh, at some point we're pro for one of the summer long boxes, we're going to do summer camp. Which is I'm not not this year, but in a, but in a future one, uh, I want to do like Friday the Thirteenth comics. So yeah, thank you for this. Whoever sent this, I, like I have an email for them, and I and hmm, I need to look into that. What? Ah, uh, the email address. I recognize it. Ah. I hope it's a good recognize. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. see, oh, I, see, before Jeffrey Piat. Uh, sent like every single comic under the sun to us. There was another person who was sending every single comic under the sun to us. They might have been the same person. I don't know, considering they seem to buy from the same people. Hmm. Anyway, and this is in spite of the fact that I have continually asked that I asked them to stop or slow down because again, too much. Well, anyway, this is from John Super Strider Asher. Super Strider. Super Strider. That must be his uh, hero name. Oh, there is a letter. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in there, but I'll read the letter here. Okay, we need to hang that poster up because I know what that is. Dear Lewis, uh, Vega, before I start, I'm sure this mic, I'm sure the mic is on, so stop bugging Lewis wait, about wait, it. Wait, is the mic on, honey? It says right here to stop bugging me about it. I don't know. You better check if the it mic's on. It says to stop bugging me about I think it. You better check the mic's on. I did the song honey? of 
Is the mic on now? Da 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 The mic is on! But seriously, is the mic on? Yes! Can you check? The mic is on! The mic is on! Oh look! The mic is on! The mic is on! The mic is on! The letter The letter says to not talk to me about it! I'm still traumatized! I have a few items of interest for the both of you, and I hope you do... Pony, 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 do, do. I love pearl bead art. This is so awesome. And I hope you do another unboxing video before Christmas. So here we are. And this makes it into it. Let's start with Lewis's stuff first. For Lewis, I have an assortment of old Pokemon stickers. Uh, uh, a Pokemon crystal poster, which is what I have there, and I would love to hang that up. Here. Oh, wow. This is the sticker book. That is, Wait, no, that this is... is a TV animation comic. And a copy of the Pokemon TV animation comic. Sorry for its conditions, but I've had it for at least 15 years now. I don't like to throw perfectly good items away, but rather I like to give them a new home. I would love to hang this up because uh, uh, Gold and Silver is my, fav is my favorite of the franchise. You actually have a frame that could fit it upstairs. Hmm. And this is a po and Pokemon Crystal is basically just the revamped version of Gold and Silver. The back of it is a game that we all love and remember. Mad Dash Racing. I don't even know that. I don't even know what that is. But yeah, it's like the Johto decks, or at least uh, the full Pokemon decks from... Uh, yeah, so I would love to hang that up. Uh, yep. Let's see, I like to give them a new home. I have no idea if you even have this, Lewis, but it is something to add to the collection. For Vega, do I need to even state it? I'm fueling her obsession with these two items. The first is a burned data disc with two My Little Pony fan games on it. Oh, fighting is magic? Holy shit! My Little Pony Fighting is Magic Tribute Edition, or Tribune Edition. Is, yeah, because sure. uh, I remember I was following them making this, and I wanted to support it as soon as it got out, like toss up some donate but then they got shut down and then it turned into that other game with the hoot like with all the sheep and stuff but woo nice Thank which you. serves as the precursor to their current project them's fighting herds that's the one like that i've been i'm looking forward to them's fighting herds this is the bill that was released by fans on equestria daily after the initial project was halted from a cease and desist by hasbro sadly yeah it is rather fun to play and fairly well balanced but i have gotten a few uh, i've gotten a few curious looks from people last time i played it on the campus game room on a big screen tv the other on the disc is a rom hack of final fantasy 6 titled pony fantasy 6 i've heard of that and i haven't played it uh, should we title what has uh, been changed? I do have to say, though, it is harder than FF6 due to the fact that not every character can use magic or espers. Uh, oh, and Derpy is ridiculously overpowered as a party member. I also intend. I also included an SNES emulator so Vega can play it. Thank you. In the unlikely case that Vega was unaware of these games already, she now has them. I'm totally aware of both those games, and I didn't have them, but now I do. So the thank you. The other item is actually tied into Pony Fantasy VI, a Perler Sprite of Twilight Sparkle from Pony Fantasy VI. Which I then put in his hat. It's right here. And yes, I made it myself. Nice Thank and done. you. Hope you like the small package and keep up the good work. Atop the Fourth Wall is one of the couple of shows on Channel Awesome I still have a vested interest in. Thank you, though you should check out more. Uh, more. It's far better than most stuff on the internet. That's debatable. <laughs> <laughs> and you at least don't see, uh, don't scream and curse on the camera 15, 20 minutes and call it a review. Well, that's that, that's Vega's job. Fuck shit, damn motherfucking hell. Boogaloo. Bomb diggity. Boogaloo? <laughs> C word. <laughs> right, take that. Booger. <laughs> oh my god, the seven words you can't say on the internet. Ass, Heidi, Mitten. <laughs> this is uh, from the Liberty Express Distribution. It is a book depository. Oh, by the way, is Super Strider your OC pony name? Just wondering. Or was it Super Smoker? Yeah, let's open this up. It's a tiny one. This is... Oh, uh, Monster Masume! Oh! Uh, volume 3. Yeah, because we have, like... I think every unboxing we're getting, like, one more volume of it. And I'm sorry I haven't read any of it yet. And I definitely haven't watched the anime. Mostly because it looks so... Yeah. <laughs> I, I, have you seen that hu uh, hug pillow for one of the characters? Snake? It, it, yeah, I have seen that one, actually, because people were friending that one. <laughs> But you know what? To evade hug pillows, there is a place we can go, and that, of course, is Anchorage, Alaska. I think they need hug pillows there the most. I feel like I'm in Alaska right now because it's been really cold here, and we finally got snow, like a proper snowstorm. Yeah, I think we should move to Hawaii, honey. I don't think so. I think we should move to Hawaii. You can keep thinking that as much as you want. Anyway, this is from Midtown Comics. Ah. So what do we have? Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. That's, um... Huge. Oh, wait, I gotta, I gotta take this out the plastic. That is huge. 
Like, I am, I am not gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. We're gonna put it in the living room, of course, <laughs> on its stand. It's the Amikami, it's a huge Amikami girl statue of Supergirl who looks even skimpier than she did in, in, that, in, oh my in the God. early 2000s. Look at her from the side. With, oh, God. With that chin. Oh, my gosh. She looks like she's from Gaku and Handsome. Hey, screw the chin. Look, chin. At her, look at her stomach. Oh, God. We're just, just, uh. We are not hanging this in our home. Be I mean, I know what they're trying to do with anime figures and all, but... It's it's like when someone who's only draw Western stuff tries to draw manga stuff and goes for every stereotype and does it badly and yeah no we have to hang this up no no we have other things we need to hang for up for justice we have other things we need to hang up we need up. to do it for justice we have other things we need to hang up like ah someone said the poop sign someone said poop sticker signs oh my god is that several poop signs. Yes! Yes! Now I can hide many of them around the house. Wow, mine is way, mine is more weightier. Since I got one of the first ones that were made, mine is like way more heavier than this. But still, now I can hide multiple poop signs around the house to annoy Lewis. Thank you! Thank you! There is a God! There is a God! And his name is Jeffrey Piet. Damn it! No, there's no God! It's what you asked for. Blame yourself. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm going to put these stickers all over your computer now. Uh... <laughs> the, fun is, the fun has been quadrupled! <laughs> is there any more in here? Poop side! Poop side! Get them for all your friends and relatives. <laughs> Tapatico, if you want me, if you, if you want to sponsor me and make and make people buy poop signs from you, I will do that. I will sell out so hard to you <laughs> if I can promote poop signs. Here's more Monster Masume. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a great Christmas indeed. I'll put one in the tree. I'll Christmas put, is ruined! I'll put one under your pillow so when you go under your pillow, you... You, you find a poop sign. I'll put, there's one for the car now. One for the car. I know what this is for now. Oh my God, honey. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to go the domestic violence route. What? No. Oh, I love it, this you. Is, I, I'm going, I'm, I'm going, I'm going the, the, the <laughs> torment myself route. Poop sign. Cause it's preferable to this. Hmm. Hmm. And you got three more in the house now. <laughs> Would they look down on me if I gave one of these to Toys for Tots? What? There's a 10-year-old who would love this out there. <laughs> what, I, I hear myself that time. I have to donate a lot of toys anyway, so... Does kid this count as a toy? <laughs> well, you know, it's probably a better toy than that statue. <laughs> Is there like a, there's like no holdy thingy Is for it. Is supposed to be like her shoe like attaches to it? No, I don't know. There's no holdy thingy, so I have no idea how Well, like, wh like, where would it even go? Like, it's attached to her butthole or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is from Japan. Maybe, damn it, Japan. I don't know. Maybe I accidentally threw it away. That sucks. E. Oh. No, it's not in the bag. Oh, well, I'm sure we'll find it. <laughs> so, I have that to look forward to. Dear Lewis Lovehog, a.k.a. Linkara, 90s Kid, Harvey Fineboy, Stalker Linksano, Ninja Style Dancer, Bafo the Clown, Bafo the Clown is how it's spelled here, possibly Poyo, Poyo is spelled actually, uh, just, be, just for people's sake, P-O-L-L-O, -L -L -O, that is how you spell Poyo, it's the Spanish spelling, possibly Lord Vice. I'm the suit actor, I'm the voice of Lord Vice, uh, Will is the suit actor for Lord Vice. It's me, it's Keith again. Hey, Keith. Uh, this time I'm sending you a Doctor Who comic as a Christmas present. I know you said only one package between each PO unboxing, but I wanted to make sure you got this in time. I found, oh, I don't, unless there was another one around here. There might be a uh, Doctor Who, there might be a separate one than this. Uh... 
I know I said one package between each PO box thing. I found the comic at my local Goodwill and instantly thought of you. Also, I'm sorry that the, com uh, the cover has a small tear in it. I w it was like that when I bought it. I'm not sure if you already have this one. If you don't, great. If you did, oh well, at least you got a spare copy now. Hope you enjoy the comic. I don't think I have it. Beware the Cyberman is the PS. But thank you, Keith Arndt. Nice. Oh, there we go. Also, we got more Monster Moose May. Yay. <laughs> but thank you. Monster Boobies. Yeah. <laughs> Right over the poop sign. What is preferable? Poop sign or monster? Ooh, that was wet. Yeah, it's my water spill. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's all good. You need more boxes? Uh, I got three more over here. Uh, I got a lot more over here. Trying to get through a lot of the singles here, because, you know, be quick about it. What do you got there? It's a postcard from my friends in California, friend oh, hey. of Victoria. But yes, yeah, like, it got a bit wet, now I'm mad. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, two of my friends from Cali really talk me through some like rough times and uh, i actually met them through the same for like forum i'm still a part of uh i've known people from that forum for like almost 10 years now it's kind of crazy the internet truly brings people together ha merry christmas victoria fred and fred <laughs> not victoria fred that sounds like one person <laughs> Vic friend victoria <laughs> uh friday the 13th badlands number two of two i think i have this already but thank you anyway we should make one of those couples picture Christmas card things. Yes, and then send them out to 50 gajillion people. Exactly. I mean, hey, we gotta send out save the dates anyway. Yes, but that's, mm. you know, just adding more expenses, what I'm saying. Well, we have to send out save the dates, because I actually wasn't going to, because I thought it was stupid, but a lot of people explained to me why we should. So, yeah. Anyway, this is from Amazon. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! I was... Yeah! Honey! I see it. So, cheese sandwich, as I said, is like... Cheese and pinky. It's Weird Al. Yes. Cheese, cheese sandwich is voiced by Weird Al. They really need to bring him back for another episode. But, uh, one of my favorite, uh, non-main six ponies. Ship him with Pinkie Pie. Been looking at this online, I'm like, man, I really want this. Look, the, the cannon moves! The cannon moves and it shoots to chickens! And he's articulated! There's a and badge. And there's a badge and, and a, a, a cheese sandwich! So anyway, Party kind of... tank! Party tank! And then this is just, look at this, look at this! So anyway, <laughs> I, I have comic book legal, de legal defense fund presents Liberty Annual 2016. Okay, <laughs> you got party cannon. <laughs> yeah, I got a fresh stack for you over there. Thank you. I prefer you not throw boxes that way. Just give them to me so I can rip them up. Too late. Yeah. Man, so I how need, many more pony toys are you going to get? I need a new pony shelf. Yes. I ran out of room on my pony shelf. Yeah. Ponies in the living room it is. Friday the 13th Badland number one and two. Sorry, old memorabilia from Lewis's life. You're moved over for ponies. <laughs> anyway, this big box came from eBay, but the name is from Daniel Gionetta. Hi, Daniel. How you doing? How was your day? <laughs> so, Daniel, what did you send to us? Thank you, by the way. And, of course, we, we usually say this at the end, but thank you, everyone. Yes. I mean, you guys don't even have to send me stuff. This is just, like, Lewis's thing. But the fact that you guys also send me things I like, is, I'm just appreciate all of you so much. Yes, thank you so much for sending stuff. I know I get kind of frustrated sometimes with some of this stuff, but honestly, I do appreciate it. I super appreciate it. Unfortunately, we, we, I've not made a decision yet because a lot of the stuff is probably... <laughs> no, sad thing is... Yes! Oh my god! Brent Augustine! Brent Augustine, uh, he's the guy of the episode. I, I'm making an award show now. Brent Augustine wins... Man of the episode. I, I thought the I thought the poop signs would win, but he, we just got trolled. We've just been trolled. <laughs> and it's a little sh little picture of a troll doll. 
Now, the sad thing is, I think I have this already. No, you don't. I'm pretty sure I do. I have a bunch of young blood toys that were sent to me, and I'm pretty sure I have this troll figure. I've seen your young blood toys, and I did not see a troll. I'm pretty sure. I might have given it away or something. What's Rides it? bomb dropping hover sled. I hate you. <laughs> toys for tots. I'm not giving. I'm not giving. <laughs> I, I'm giving good toys to the poor children. <laughs> Anyway, here's another one from me to me. From you to you. I know. Anyway, what I was saying was that uh, that uh, I was worried that I mean, as I've said many times, we are running out of space, and if we have not already run out of space, so it is entirely likely that at within the next two months, I am going to close the PO box for a while. Maybe we should just have a contest where we send people your bad comics, then they know how it feels. Then they'll know how it feels. Uh, okay, we got more of those uh, uh, Ghostbusters minifigs. Oh, let's open them. You know, blind bags. Whoop, oh. You open those both up while I show off what else we got. I cannot find a letter. And since this is from myself to myself, in any case, enjoy this never-before-seen comics adaptation of Captain America the Movie. <laughs> I'm, I'm presuming the 1991 one, which I remember from my childhood. I actually enjoyed that. What the hell? I, I, the little... Green Venkman, Venkman? Who's, who's who's either slimed or he's a ghost. What? Mm. I don't know. Also, Monster Girl Encyclopedia for mature Monster Girl Wait, fans what? only. Monster Girl Encyclopedia. So is that like Monster Moose in there? Or? Queen Slime, Ogre, Lamia, Hallstar. Is yeah. that a cow lady? Yeah, that that's a uh, uh, and that's porn right there. What? I, just, I don't see anything. All I see is... Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh. Uh, Ant Arachne. That's porn. That's less porn. Dark Elf. Elf of the Dwarf. There's no, there's no picture on this page. I, I demand more <laughs> Monster Girl porn out of my Monster Girl encyclopedias. You know, the most essential thing right here. You know, I was proud to have this on my shelf with, with this... With, with this cleavage exposing monster girl right here, this is this is deeply. Oh, it's volume one. Well, <laughs> there's a one on there. Clearly, there's a volume two we need to get our hands on. <laughs> well, yeah, this only goes up to Lilim and Dark Matter. Ugh. Whoa, that that looks. That's like, tentacle porn right there. It's more like period matter. <laughs> I mean, look where it's coming from. I think it's where it's going into. Is the is the is the relevant thing here. Reverse. So thank you, me from me. <laughs> Obviously, it's so important I got that. That's that's the message of the future. Maybe there's a sexy entity girl in there. So, what do you think we should watch during this Christmas season? I do not know. What should we watch this Christmas season? National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, a classic. What's the thank you card say? <laughs> Hi, Lewis. Longtime viewer wanted to send something for Christmas. First, we have really bad Xmas comic and trench uh, tress Xmas bits. You, uh, you said you didn't see Christmas Vacation, so now no excuse. Die, kitty, die, funny send-up of what's wrong with comics. Was that from a different uh, 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 thing? Because that only because this only has the uh, uh, Christmas Vacation. Yeah, the we already got the other two in different boxes. Ah, okay. So, yeah. And those didn't come with it. A uh, note. So I guess they put the note in this one. Yep, that's okay because hey, now we have a copy of Christmas Vacation, and I'm sure we'll probably. And considering I said I've never seen Christmas Vacation, we're probably gonna get more of these now. Can't believe you've never seen Christmas Vacation. I used to watch that like every year when I was a little kid. There are things oh! that I'm just not interested in seeing. Oh, honey, we got something from Santa. But he's so busy. Shouldn't he have waited until Christmas for this? Sometimes he does people early because, you know, they're adults and don't give a fuck. Hmm. Santa got me a present. Santa got a present. Did Santa get us lesbian porn? Santa's a pervert. <laughs> Santa got us Love and Hell? Love and Hell. Love and Hell Volume 2. Let me read the back there uh, while I go and grab some more here. Oh, God damn it. Dance in the Vampire Bun 2 with a cover I don't feel like I... Yeah, we're not showing that off. Yeah. We don't want Dance in the Vampire Bun. Yeah, we don't want it. You we can, don't you... want anything 
with Loli in it. You can you can give you can post your Wikipedia explanations of it. You could send me stuff on Tumblr telling me how it's only a little bit of Loli stuff. No, we don't want no. that stuff. No. I do not approve of it. I do not want it. I don't want it in my house. I do not like it. And I have and I don't care if you say I'm like some sort of prude or something over it. I'm sorry. I don't want to sexualize children in anything in anything. So yeah. fuck off. Sorry. It's yeah. it's going in the trash. This is probably skirting the line. I just can't tell because of the weird because of the weird angle. Yeah, let's uh, flip through this. Uh, love and hell. Life mad doesn't magically get easier once you're dead. Takig Senekawa Rintaro, a recent arrival in hell, where he's expected to submit to torture, name of atoning for his sins, not to mention earning money for necessities like food, clothing, entertainment, and brothel visits. Luckily for Rintaro, every sinner has a demon charged with overseeing their redemption. He's been paired up with Kayori, who's young and enthusiastic and hot as well. As well. How hey. young? Rintaro endures of all kinds. He's flayed, boiled alive, and surrounded by untouchable, gorgeous demons. While he has no luck getting them out of their clothes, he may be able to help them get new sexy outfits, which sounds great. But the devil's in the details, and probably worst of all, Rintaro learns how badly things can go when demons become too fond of sinners they're supposed to be torturing. Oh, that, that's nakedness right there. But it's actually an adult, so I think this is fine. Well, that those are some boobies. Yep. Those are some, like, at least B cups. Yep, so this one is probably fine. Is he wearing an Amazon uniform? Yeah, he might be. <laughs> <laughs> so Amazon workers go to hell? I guess so. But you know what? It's not Lolly, so we'll take that. But you know what? To get this out of our uh, get this out of our system, I think we need to go someplace. Yeah. I think we should go to Boston, Massachusetts, and in particular Milk Street. There's a porn name in this. Well, yeah. If you if you try hard enough, anything <laughs> can be a porn name. I don't know. Linkara doesn't sound like a porn name. Linkara. Nah, it still sounds Link like a nerd. Linkara. Linking up with Linkara. There you go. <laughs> I've been to Boston many times. I love that city. I'd love to. I would love to go back there someday. It's just since I moved to the Midwest, it's hard to get to the East Coast for events and stuff. This might be eBay. I can't tell, but if it's not, it is from Wayne Dorman. I really miss Anime Boston. I'll open this from the back here. Anyway, this is from BWB Fulfillment Services. I'm gonna so. get this one open first because I got this. So. Yep. Let's see. Oh, I'm it's eBay. Trouble. Uh, it's Jeffrey Piet. Damn it, Jeffrey Piet. It's more ornaments, though. <laughs> In this case, as I open up backwards. Oh, it's the it's uh, NX-01 Enterprise. Nice. Hmm. It's heavy, too. Hmm. Like, uh, it features voice. Oh, goody. Oh, goody, I get to hear Captain Archer, you know, <laughs> you know, talk about, you know, you know, pissing on some sacred trees because, because his dog got sick. Oh, goody. <laughs> Are there anything else in here? Thank you, Jeffrey. We oh got wow! Rip Hunter, Time Master. Oh sweet! It's a the showcase sh presents. Yeah, this is thick. Yeah, this is uh, the showcase series is basically uh, the answer to Marvel's Essentials, where it's where it's basically like twenty five comics reprinted cheaply in black and white. So uh, yeah, check that out. Rip Hunter, Time Master, awesome. We like Rip Hunter, and apparently, uh, uh, like, uh, what's his face from Doctor Who, uh, Arthur Darville, I want to say is it? Now this is from me. This is for me, I should say. Don't um, correct me in the comments. I know who it is. I just can't remember who it is. Rose Johnson's. Anyway, it's Power Ponies. The Kung Fu Ponies. Uh, you should do the Power Pony comic. I think they br uh, brought out a comic set in this. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll get around to that. Never. Patron him. Patron him now. You know, people are, acu are in the comments are accusing you of making... of. of of making me do the, uh, the the My Little Pony holiday special. I'm not a... W wait, what? I didn't make you. I did put it... Yeah, you gave Actually, me a bunch of Christmas comics. You didn't make me do it. I thought it would be funny. And because I wanted money. Funny money. There you go. I did put it on your desk, along with the other one, on yeah, your the, keyboard, uh, the... where you would find it in the morning. Yeah, because you were organizing stuff, and I had said that I was having trouble finding a third comic to review for Hollow for uh, Christmas this year. I may have... And you, and you put a few other things on there. You put, like, that uh, uh, that Goon Saves Christmas thing? Archibald Saves Christmas. Archibald Saves Christmas. That's the one. Anyway, this is from Shane Lodi. 
Shane Modi, how you doing, Shane? Has sent us Bubble Wrap! Yay! Friday the 13th comics from Avatar. And that one's probably inappropriate to show because nipples poking through. Uh, Bloodbath. 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 And Fear, fear Book. book. I, didn't you, I, I thought we already got the Fear Book. Oh, well. When I go through everything again, we'll find out. Yep. Okay. This but is a you, light box, but it's a larger one. If you want to hide from Jason, maybe go to Fairbanks, Alaska. I don't think there's been Jason and Takes Alaska yet. Fairbanks, Alaska. Plate with small town golden heart hospitality and pioneer spirit ferret will make you make your stay one to remember. Alaska native culture, the midnight sun, Denali, Fairbanks, Alaska. It's in Alaska. Another Ami Kami girls Wonder uh, uh, statue Wonder Woman this time. I think and she and look at that stomach. At least it doesn't have the pointy Gaku and Heaven chin. And again, I don't think there's a stand for this. There is, actually, there, there, the stand is actually uh, on this side of it. And there's huh. a sword. Huh. Okay. The we don't want these, by it. the way. I... Thank you, thank you, whoever sent this. Probably Jeffrey Piet, given he sent out the other uh, comic girls. We don't want these. You don't want these. I, I don't want them. I think they're hilariously horrible. See, the tiny ones at least have the advantage of, you know, being set... set uh, 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 Space Savers. I don't really like a lot of the Ame Kame girls aesthetic. And frankly, I, we don't need giant statues. And I'm not going to put giant sexy woman statue. I like giant sexy woman statues. Well, good. You can put it in your office. Yay. But I don't want them in, you know. With Toys for Tots, hate the Wonder Woman uh, <laughs> Ame Kame girl statue. No, no, I'm sure they'd, they'd love that. <laughs> just, say it's Bar just say it's Wonder Woman Barbie. It's not a Barbie. Got anyway. the proportions of one. <laughs> anyway, this is just for, from Amazon. Oh, wow. I think I know what that is. I think I've seen that before. Star nope. Trek! I don't know this. Ships of the Line 2017. It's a calendar, I think. Oh, and there's a CD. A My Little Pony, It's a Pony Kind of Christmas. Yeah, I saw that uh, when I was doing research for the for the Hearthswarming Eve thing. I considered briefly getting, getting a music from it, but I was then decided... Screw it. But no, Ships of the Line calendar. That's going to be cool. Pony kind of Christmas. The problem is, I don't really use physical calendars, though. I have I have uh, my Outlook calendar. But thank you, though. It's still cool to look at. And I still have my uh, Lisa Frank calendar. Yeah, how long does the Lisa Frank calendar last? Um, pretty much all year. Uh, 2017 as well? Yeah, because they have like a six month and then they have a all year. Ah. But we could put the other one in the kitchen. Hmm. Like either Star Trek or the Sailor Moon. There you go. Okay, I... Okay, I might need to open... I, I, I don't think we have very many boxes left. I think we might only have one more. That white one over there? Yep, which is a Hallmark one, which I'm assuming is more ornaments. Yep, because I ran out over here. Uh, keep searching around, make sure, because we want to make sure we've gotten through everything. Yep. Of course, the really good news is, is you know, if we don't have anything else... Then this has only been an hour and a half, which is the shortest in a while. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything except for maybe, you know, something that we definitely need to look at because it's, you know, vital. Why don't you open that up? This is essential viewing. You know, we need to we need to show this off. This is vitally important. We need to show already, off Fairbanks, Alaska. I already did that. I just did that like a few minutes ago. Oh, then you just toss it this way and then didn't reach the garbage. <laughs> Yeah, well, we have to remind bit. people that Fairbanks, Alaska is, you know, vital to, to their future. Anyway. Uh, no return address name? Just Hallmark. Oh, of course. Let's see what the pa uh, shipping receipt says. Doesn't say anything. Oh, it's like... Uh, oh. Itty, itty bitties. bitties. Star Trek itty bitties. And a bunch more of these. We actually have these already. These uh, uh, some of these these ornaments. We have Captain America and someone else. I know we have Spider Man. I know we have Superman. I know we have Iron Man. Which yeah, is the but three we, we have got here. different versions of them. Are you sure they're different? I really yeah, can't tell. We have the uh, bigger ones that came from Target. Yeah, but we had cute ones like these too. Yes, but that was Wonder Woman and Captain America. I think. Well, in any event, 
Uh, thank you, whoever sent them. Probably Jeffrey Piet. Yes, and hey, no you. huge, and know what? No huge box of comics, so I applaud that. <laughs> thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Uh, yeah, it's the shortest in a while. We were worried this was actually going to be a lot. Uh, I don't think we'll have time to do another PO unboxing before Christmas, but if we do, then hey, it'll be a very short one. Yep. Uh, mm. But otherwise, thank you all very much for sending this stuff out to us. Thank you so much, especially for all the ponies. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, whoever sent me this beating stick. I like beatings. I beat you all day. What is... Tire. Happy holidays, Over. everybody. And a merry beating to us all. Oh my god, you should give this to Fat Grandma as a, as a prop. Yes. Yes. In the, you have to do, you did the Fat Grandma thing yet? No, I have not. Add in this beating stick. Just for her to wag. Snitches get stitches. Yes. See, see, we found a use for it already. It's the gift that keeps on giving to your ass. It keeps giving beatings. <laughs> Happy holidays, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>